What if I told you that some of Godzilla's powers aren't as far-fetched as they seem? Sure, we don't have a 400-foot-tall radioactive lizard roaming the Earth, thankfully. But the science behind its abilities, atomic breath, super strength, regeneration, is actually rooted in reality. Today we're diving into the real-world science behind Godzilla's most famous traits. Could any of them exist? Let's find out. 1. Godzilla's Atomic Breath the power of nuclear fusion picture. This. Godzilla takes a deep breath, its spines light up, and then, boom, a devastating blast of blue atomic fire erupts. It's one of the most iconic attacks in cinema history. But could something like this actually exist? In reality, the energy behind Godzilla's atomic breath resembles nuclear fusion, the same process that powers the sun. Fusion happens when atomic nuclei collide at extreme temperatures, releasing massive amounts of energy. If Godzilla could somehow generate and expel this energy in a focused beam, it would be catastrophic, far more destructive than even the most powerful hydrogen bomb. But here's the kicker. Scientists are already working on harnessing nuclear fusion as a clean energy source. If successful, it could provide nearly limitless power. The challenge? Containing and controlling such extreme heat and pressure without melting everything around it? Something Godzilla clearly doesn't worry about. Godzilla's gigantic. Size. The laws of biology. Now let's talk about the elephant, or giant lizard, in the room. Godzilla's sheer size is mind-boggling. But could a creature that big actually survive? In nature, there's a concept called scaling laws. Which explains why animals can't just keep getting bigger indefinitely. As an organism grows, its volume increases much faster than its surface area. This means a real-life Godzilla would have serious problems. Its bones might collapse under its own weight, and its heart would struggle to pump blood to all of its organs. But what about creatures that do get enormous, like blue whales or colossal squid? These animals thrive in the ocean, where buoyancy helps support their weight. So unless Godzilla spent most of its time underwater, its body would likely be too heavy to function on land. Could science ever create a giant terrestrial creature? Maybe, if we engineered stronger bones or found a way to reduce gravity. But, for now, Godzilla remains firmly in the realm of fiction. Godzilla's durability, the science of indestructible materials. No matter how many times Godzilla is blasted, crushed, or attacked, it just keeps going. How? Its skin must be incredibly strong, stronger than anything found in nature. In reality, some of the toughest materials on Earth include diamond, graphene, and Kevlar. But even these have limits. If Godzilla's scales were made of something even stronger, it would need to be an advanced, bio-engineered material, possibly inspired by the ultra-hard exoskeletons of beetles, or the flexible yet durable skin of sharks. Scientists are already developing synthetic materials that mimic nature's strongest structures. In the future, we might see armor or even exosuits inspired by Godzilla's durability. Godzilla's regeneration, the power of stem cells one. Of the most terrifying things about Godzilla is that it just won't die. Even if it's badly wounded, it regenerates. Believe it or not, some animals on Earth already have this ability. Take the axolotl, a salamander that can regrow lost limbs, or starfish that can regenerate entire bodies from a single arm. The secret lies in stem cells, which can transform into any type of tissue. Scientists are studying stem cells to unlock the potential for human regeneration. Imagine a future where severe injuries heal in days or even hours. While we're not at Godzilla's level yet, breakthroughs in regenerative medicine could revolutionize healthcare. But this also raises ethical questions. Should we alter human biology to become more like Godzilla? Where do we draw the line between medicine and playing God? Godzilla's influence on science and culture. For decades, Godzilla has been more than just a movie monster. It has inspired conversations about nuclear power, biology, and even climate change. In fact, some scientists credit movies like Godzilla for sparking their interest in studying radiation, genetics, and engineering. And this isn't new. Many scientific discoveries have been inspired by fiction. Submarines were once just a fantasy. In Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, space travel was a dream before it became reality. 
Could Godzilla inspire future breakthroughs in energy, bioengineering, or materials science? Only time will tell. What do you think? Which of Godzilla's powers do you wish were real? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the science behind your favorite monsters.